In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate 99% of your content workflow. This is part three of a series. Today, we're gonna to be covering posting and analytics. If you wanna check out part one and part two where we cover planning and content creation and the post-production process, make sure to check out the links in the description below. But today, we're gonna to be talking about how to automate the posting and analytics part of your content workflow. Now, there are a lot of tools like Buffer and also Hootsuite that will allow you to schedule and get analytics for the content that you publish on social media. But the problem with those platforms is you still have to download all of the video and all of the content that you've recorded on your system and re-upload it and reschedule it into their systems in order to get it going. And in the previous videos, I showed you how you could use Airtable and Google Drive to store all of your content and keep it organized. And so if you've already organized all of that content in a place like Google Drive, why would you want to then download it all and then re-upload it to another platform and then reschedule it so that it could go out to social media. So when I was solving this problem for myself, when I was building out my content engine, I searched for a platform that I could connect to directly without having to use another user interface and I came across Airshare. So Airshare is really like a platform like Buffer or Hootsuite, but it's really meant for developers so that we can connect to it directly from another source. So what I found was I could take all of this stored content that I neatly organized and schedule it right from Airtable without having having to download it and then re-upload it to another platform, I can simply connect to Airshare and send it directly through them. And beyond that, I can also pull the analytics directly down from Airshare and store them back into the Airtable database. And I can track the performance of my content directly in Airtable. So when we think about automating that entire content workflow from beginning to end, I can really plan, create, edit, repurpose, post, and get all my analytics in one content hub. And it's this level of organization that allows me and my team to publish 100 plus pieces of content in a single week with just a couple people. Now, before I show you how the auto posting works, I want to show you a little bit about the workflows because this is what allows me to also multiply my content to make sure that it's getting to multiple platforms. So when I record a vertical video in my system, I can also create sub actions for all of my content and what should happen with it. So obviously I'm going to take those vertical videos and publish them to YouTube shorts and to Twitter, but I can also convert those vertical videos into text and I can make that a text post on LinkedIn, also on Twitter. And I can also convert that vertical video into a square so that it's formatted correctly for that platform. And then I can create other types of complicated workflows for other types of content that I create. And then for any given workflow, I can also have child workflows where that workflow will also distribute to other workflows like community distribution. So I can make sure that every time I record a YouTube video, it also gets distributed into the various communities that I belong to. And then I can create other workflows for promotion of content that I create. So you can see my YouTube video also gets promoted into LinkedIn as well. And I've really only started to scratch the surface on these workflows workflows, I could continue to make them more complex and distribute this content a lot more effectively. And those workflows create records in this post table that allow me to schedule all of this content out to the various different platforms. So it becomes possible to create a lot of content and distribute it to multiple brands in multiple formats. And then from this post table, when things are ready to post, then run these various records through a series of automations that will connect directly to Airshare, the platform where I can connect to the social media APIs directly. And if you're a video agency, this is actually very powerful because you can manage multiple brands in a single system and also distribute all of that content through different brands and different accounts all through Airshare. So in the automation section of my Airtable database, I can create these automations that are taking the information from these tables. They're looking at the copy, they're grabbing the images and the media directly from the system and then simply sending them over to Airshare for publishing. And then once they're published, I can get those analytics with another automation here that will grab the analytics, the post analytics, and also the profile analytics, your followers, how many followers you have. And then it stores those analytics directly into the Airtable system. And it's with that data that allows me to create these various graphs and show the analytics. So then I can create these dashboards in one system that shows me all of the content that I have scheduled, what's ready, what's not ready, what's going out tomorrow, what's not ready, what needs to get done. And then you can also track the performance of that content in one system. So when you combine all of the analytics and the organization around this system, plus you can create all of the complex workflows, when you really organize all of this and create those workflows, it allows you to create a lot more content with a lot less work. You save a lot of time. You don't need as many people managing the system. So you can ultimately get better results for your business with less time and money. And you're really able to create a lot more content than most other people can. So that just means more exposure for you. So there you go. I hope you found this video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video that's 
popping up on your screen right now. I go in depth on how you can actually start to create your own Airtable database. I show you step-by-step -step how to create the database and how to connect your first Zapier automation to facilitate the organization of your content and your Airtable database so that you can start to build out your own system like this. Check out the video and I'll see you there. Have a good one.